What's up guys? Welcome to another day of herping Lebanon. Well, not day, it's night. Uh, welcome to the first night herp video from my channel. If you're a fan of wildlife and herpetofauna, you're in the right place. Make sure to subscribe and if you're not, subscribe anyway because I will change your mind. Uh, today I'll be going around my village as well like in previous videos but this time I'll try to look for Palestinian vipers and uh, Muller snakes these guys will be active at night these days as it got really hot it's like 34 degrees Celsius during the day and now it's about 22 maybe 23 uh, it's there is no wind whatsoever so we have good chance to find some cool herbs of reptiles amphibians uh, and even arachnids so Follow me, guys, and, and our this first video. reptile for today is a house gecko, Turkish gecko. It just uh, curled into this hole. I don't know if you can see it. These guys are nocturnal geckos. Uh, they usually uh, inhabit areas like this wall. Uh, they enter houses in search for food, especially near your light at night. Uh, they feed on mosquitoes and other uh, insects. Uh, they here locally people believe they can cause albinism which doesn't make any sense and that they are poisonous and everything and people kill them for that but they're really important and they get rid of your mosquitoes and other insects you complain about in your house it's a cute one so guys and he here you can see a couple of uh, levant pond frogs mating uh, as you can see the female is larger than the male and uh, they are of different colors. This uh, species is very diverse when it comes to color variation. Variation: They can be brown, spotted, striped, uh, green and uh, many other colors. It's really amazing. I will go looking for other couples and hopefully we'll find some snakes as well. Here guys we just found another house gecko. This one is sitting on a tree out in the open so you can see it easily. That's a beautiful adult. They are very common around here, as you can see. And I will try to find more. I'll take still shots of this one because I'm really enjoying the way he sits here on the tree, almost camouflaged. By the way, like some predators might not even notice he's over. He's really there, and just leave it be. So, guys, our first scorpion for the day. It's Hotentota judaicus. It's a very common species here in the area. Uh, obviously it's active now, I found it outside, it's hiding rock, probably he will crawl down this exactly same rock later on to hide during the day. These guys are insectivores, don't want to get stung by these guys, it's really bad, painful, usually not deadly but you don't want to go through the pain. Uh, I will take a still shot of it, this is probably a female that's gravid. But still developing little ones inside her. We'll take a few still shots and let it go. So there is nothing so far except the gecko and the frogs. I'm moving to another area now and hope to find more snakes. This area is more natural, it's more rocky. So guys, we just flipped a rock and there is a scorpion, Hotentota judaicus. Uh, biggest king. It's uh, bridled mabuya probably. And a tarantula den, Caetopelma olivacea. It's inside there, but it's really hard to see through the webs. I don't want to disturb it further. But I'm really in love with the skink. It's one of the biggest I've seen for the species. As you can see, I don't want to keep it awake, so I'll put the rock back. And here we flipped a Scorpio Maurus fuscus, or Scorpio fuscus now. Uh, these guys are non die. they're large claw scorpions. <laughs> They are really common in the area. They usually live in burrows under rocks like this one. This is also gravid female. I will leave her alone, undisturbed. And there is a toad down there in the grasses. I'll try to catch it to show you. It's an adult. I only seen juveniles last time. But this one is big. Probably a male from the color. <laughs> that uh this it's Bafatis uh, Sidibundus. These guys are common around here. They live in dry burrows underground. And oops, I lost it. I found a beautiful European cat snake crossing the road. Check this out! Hooray! 
our first snake for today that's a beautiful adult the spots are really amazing it's Telescopus phallax syriacus they are nocturnal species feeding mainly on geckos and this wall is full of geckos so it was probably heading there for a hunt I'll take shots of this guy guy or girl and let her go she's awesome it's really made my day here guys I picked it up to show you closer so you can see the size of this beauty uh, these snakes are rare fanged mildly venomous but as you can see they're harmless to people the their venom only works on geckos and their fangs are too short to go into our skin nor they are aggressive or so they're grumpy species but like they never bite and if they do, it's not really dangerous because it's hard for the fangs to reach our skin and for the venom to be effective on us. But it's very effective for geckos and smaller lizards on which they feed. It's a beautiful snake. I'm so happy we found it. It's actually the first time I, found this, I find the species in the area here. So I took a few still shots of this beauty and I will let her go now.